Bring back in uh, our two strategists, Democratic strategist Cliff Schechter, as well as Republican strategist Cleta Mitchell. Cleta, uh, you just heard the conversation with John Harwood as well. This is not good for the Republican Party. Well, of course it's not, but this, let me just say this. The fact of the matter is the Democrats have scandals of their own. J William Jefferson, who had $50,000 of cash in his freezer, who's under uh, FBI investigation, his chief of staff has been indicted and pleaded guilty to bribery. Um, you have a situation with Bob Menendez, the sitting senator from New Jersey, who the FBI announced two weeks ago that he's under federal investigation. You have issues of... of, of ethical scandals surrounding John Murtha, but because these are Democrats and because these are media darlings, you don't ever hear that, you don't ever hear that people say, well, the Democrats have this huge problem. Maria Cantwell, the sitting senator from Washington State, there were stories last week in that, that link her with uh, some serious ethical scandals related to her chief of staff, her campaign manager, and lobbying funds, and yet you don't ever have the same kind of attack on Democrats that you you see when you have one horrible situation, one horrible member of Congress who does bad things, but because he's a Republican, that all of the Republicans are tainted. It's a terrible situation. It needs to be addressed. It needs to be investigated, and that is what's happening. Can, can I respond to that? Sure. Uh, no, I mean, that's, that's just hysterical. I'm, I'm not sure what planet you're living on, Cleta. I mean, one... You're saying there's one incident on the Republican side? Yes, this is one incident. Let's see, you've got Randy Duke Cunningham, who's in prison. You've got Bob Ney, who's going to prison. You've got Tom DeLay, who's probably going to prison. You've got Bill Frist being investigated for insider trading. You've got Denny Hastert, who covered up what uh, Mark Foley was doing and is being investigated for it now. You've got Tom Reynolds, who covered it up and is being investigated. You have Bob Corker being investigated in Tennessee over shady land deals. You've got George Allen being investigated for the fact that he might have stuffed a deer's head into an African-American couple's mailbox uh, back when he was a younger man. And I could go on and on. Let's see, Jack Abramoff, uh, Scooter Libby. Do you want me to take this whole show? I mean, what a joke, Cleo. I mean, it's not even what you say is laughable on its face. One person, your whole party is a party right now that is basically a party of criminals and pedophiles. They're getting busted everywhere. You've got more and more people going to prison. Conrad Burns might be the next one to fall, as that, well as other Those are absolutely not true. I mean, not you, true? You, no, okay. that is not okay, true. Cleta. Conrad Burns, the Justice Department, has announced he's not a target of an investigation. Tom DeLay, yes, he resigned, but frankly, those uh, uh, those allegations, the indictment against Tom DeLay were completely politically motivated. Oh, right. and the money laundering is politically the motivated. Mo absolutely, Sorry, absolutely. He'll be going to prison. I doubt, Earl, that. I doubt that. I doubt that. Ronnie prosecuted more Democrats than he prosecuted Republicans. I doubt that. I doubt that. Good try, Cleena, no, but that's look, not true. Look at the charges. He accomplished his objective, which was to get Tom DeLay out of which the is, political... Which is good for Republicans, because they a, like the money launderers. Like, it's absolutely. He accomplished his objective. We'll see about the money launderers. We'll right. see about that. And we'll, we'll see about Jack Abramoff, too. And we'll see about the Safavian in the White House who's going to prison. We'll see about the 485 meetings with Paul Rove. And, uh, because President Bush doesn't remember What about Bob Menendez? Him, right? What right. about Bob Menendez and the investigation that was there's announced by the there. Justice Department? Oh, there's nothing there. Uh, okay, good. Good, good. try, Cleo. Try been... naming 45 people like I just All did. Right. You can name two, and they're not even okay. real ones. Good so try. You it... guys are the ones who are corrupt. Get Clearly, used to both it. of you had your coffee this morning, and I'm delighted to have had both of you on our air. This has been an interesting debate. Thank you very much, Cleta Mitchell and Cliff Schechter. We appreciate it.